So hello and welcome to lesson five of our study of mathematical biology. So in this lesson, we'll be solving some questions, okay, on the SIR model without vital dynamics. So let's take our first example. It says, a study of your university freshman, freshman, described an influenza epidemic with S0 equals 0.911, in S at infinity equals 0.513. It says here, we are measuring the number of susceptibles as a fraction of the total population size. Compute the basic reproductive number, I don't know. Okay, so we can see that the question give us S0 and it give us S at infinity, all right? Then it is saying this S0 and S at infinity was expressed over what the percentage. That's the reason why it was expressed over the total number of population. So that's the reason why we are getting this mouse. Because here the total population N becomes one. Okay. All right. So say we should find R0. So you can see that we have our N to be one. S0 is 0 0.911 and S infinity is 0 0.513. So that means we can compute our R0 from this formula. Instead, we can use that from the final size relation, which we derived in our previous video. So we make substitution. So it will be R0 times 1 minus S at infinity 0 0.513 over N. N is one, so over one, the same thing. Then is equal to ln 0.911 over 0.513. So making this computation is going to give you an R0 value of 1.18. So if you're asked to interpret this value, what it means is that the disease is going to spread because the R0 value is greater than or equal to one. And since it is greater than one, it means an epidemic is going to what? Okay. Okay. So mm, that's question one, very simple. Then let's go to question two. So question two says, a disease is introduced by two visitors into a town with 1,200 inhabitants. And it says an average infective is in contact with 0 0.4 inhabitants per day. The average duration of the infective period is six days, and recovered infectives are immune against reinfection. How many inhabitants will have to be immunized to avoid an epidemic? So let's try to get some data from our question. So from our question, the town has 1,200 inhabitants. So that means the population of the town is 1,200. And it says an average infective is in contact with 0 0.4 inhabitants per day, right? So that means the transmission rate per the population is 0 0.4. So we have our beta n to be 0 0.4. Then it says the average duration of infective period is six days. That means our gamma transmission rate is one over, um, recovery rate, sorry, is one over six. Then it says, the disease was introduced by two visitors into the town. So that means the disease initially started with well, two infectives. So our I naught is two. And in this question, when the two visitors go into the population, the whole population becomes susceptible, right? So the S naught is the same as our N, which is 1,200. So we have to compute, um, so this one is gamma, okay. So we have to compute the proportion of the population who need to be immunized to avoid an epidemic. So we have several ways in which you can solve this, okay. So we're going through one of the ways, one of the simple ways in which you can do that. So the 
proportion of the population who need to be immunized to avoid an epidemic is given by 1 minus 1 over R0. So that means we need to get our R0. So we know that since we have our gamma and beta and S0 and our N and the rest, we can compute the basic reproductive number R0 from this relation. So our beta N is equal to 0 0.4. So that means our beta will be 0 0.4 over 1,200. That's N. That will give you 1,000, 1 over 1,000, 3,000. So now let's make substitution into the R0 formula. So we have this to be beta. We have this to be S0 or N. In this case, our S0 is the same as our N. And you have this to be our gamma, the transmission rate. So when you should make this commutation, you're going to get R0 to be 2.4. So from this basic reproductive number, this indicates that an epidemic will occur if nothing is done, OK? So because we don't want an epidemic to occur, we want to immunize a proportion, a fraction of the population, a number of them, so that they will move from the susceptible class to the recovered class without passing through the infective class. Okay, so the fraction or proportion of the population who have to immunize to avoid an epidemic is given by one minus one over R naught. Right, so one minus one over two point four will give us seven over twelve. So that means the fraction or the proportion of the population who have to be immunized to avoid an, epi an epidemic. So to avoid an epidemic. Is 7 over 12. So to get the number of inhabitants who would have to be immunized to avoid an epidemic is given by 7 over 12 times 1,200. And if you should make that commutation, it will give you 700 inhabitants. So that means if 700 of the 1,200 inhabitants are immunized, there is no way we will have an R not value of being one or greater than one. So that means an epidemic will not work okay, right? So we have question three here. In question three says, consider a disease with beta to be one over 3,000. One over gamma is equal to six days in a population of 1,200 members. Suppose the disease conferred immunity on recovered infectives. How many members would have to be immunized to avoid an, infect an epidemic? So the answer to this is 700. And if you should look at this question and the question two we solve, you realize that you are going to use similar approach to question two, from question two. And question three happens to be a simplified version of question two. So go through the same procedure and make sure you solve the question, okay? When you solve it, you should get 700, okay? So um, thank you very much. So our next video, we are going to talk about the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection. So thank you. All the best.